money out of your wallet. Meet Mo. What's the name? Okay, what's the name right no, there? No, but what's Mo the name? Shapiro, but that's what's you. The name? Mo's the partner in an air duct cleaning company that's sucking in the cash. $1,750 is exactly what I paid. Clean it up by using dirty tricks, according to some of their customers. I think they deliberately misled me. With a bunch of websites for supposedly local five-star companies that lure you in. Does it make you mad? Oh yeah, I was, I was hot. Technicians with a shop back and an attitude. Do you feel like this guy ripped you off? Oh yeah. And a method to make sure your money is funneled their way. Do you know what a bait and switch is? Wait, what? This is Shayla. I call the local company named Nectar. At least they look like a local company. Their address is in Redford, where Shayla and her husband Steve live. And Nectar Duck Cleaning has some sweet reviews. Look at all those five stars. Technician Dennis from Nectar showed up and told Shayla her ducks not only needed cleaning, but a chemical treatment to kill germs. Shayla told them, Let's just keep it as cheap as possible. That's it. Those are the only two services I want. An hour later, the Nectar guy was done and wanted payment for... What? What do you mean $2,100? The couple say their ducks aren't even any cleaner. So I opened one up to see what $2,000 worth of duck cleaning looks like. So, dog food. Yeah, old dog food. But it's filthy. I mean, it's definitely not yep. clean. This is... This is dirty. And then there's this gadget. Apparently they charge $699 to put a UV light in your furnace, which is supposed to kill the bacteria in the furnace. Our furnace is two years old. I would have never asked for that. Shayla's an eighth grade teacher. She says this looks like a student science project. They headed to Nectar's supposed office. This is the headquarters of Nectar Duck Cleaning in Redford. Looks like an alleyway to me. Yep, Nectar apparently doesn't even exist except on the web. You called Nectar to come, come out. Right. And who was doing the billing? The bill that was sent to my husband's email was from Ampure, A-M-P-U-R-E. And you never even heard of I that I never company. called them. April hired a company called Jones Duck Cleaning out of Highland Park. I was trying to do my research, find somebody that had, had reputable reviews, all five star, and if I recall, quite a few. Mm -hmm. And now I'm thinking those were all fakes. Mm -hmm. They must have been. April was unimpressed with Jones duct cleaning. He just went around with a shop vac and shop vac the top of my vents and then sprayed in a weird chemical. And I was like, you know, this is weird. I could have done this. The cost, $1,000. She paid by check. And I said, who should I make it out to? And he said, AM Pure. And I, and I said, that's not the company I hired. AM Pure again? Well, what's up with the five-star rated Jones duct cleaning April call? Well, somewhere on this block in Highland Park is supposed to be Jones Air Duct Cleaning. I don't see it. Meet Margie. She hired Cardinals Air Duct. Here's their website, Cardinal Air Ducts of Dearborn. Here's their five-star reviews. So you think that they didn't do a very good job? They didn't do a job at all. And guess who Margie ended up paying $800 to? Woo, now here's a fancy place. This is the address for Cardinal Duct Cleaners. But guess what? There's no Cardinal duck cleaners in there, just a bunch of investment firms and lawyers' offices. This appears to be bait and switch. The bait, a website for a duck cleaner in your town with lots of five-star reviews. The switch, someone from AM Pure, a company with not so great reviews, shows up to do the job and take your money. Here's some AM Pure customers. Victoria got this Valpac coupon for a duck cleaning from AM Pure for $89. She said the AM Pure tech started to upsell but she told the guy she just wanted that $89 deal. He took out a hose and started banging around her duck. And how long did he spend inside the house? Ten minutes. Five, ten minutes. He took the 89 bucks and left. You don't think he cleaned your ducks at all? No. Joe had an $89 and pure coupon as well. He says the tech worked for an hour at his house, didn't even take off all his vent covers, as you can see, but for 89 bucks, he was satisfied. I have the $90 ready for him. Right. Literally, in my hand, cash, ready for him. But Joe was in for a big surprise. He was told he owed $1,750. Furious. Joe demanded the tech's manager's number. He told me, you can't have that number, you're not privy to that, no one speaks to Moses. Hmm. Or Mo, AKA Mo. He says he finally got to speak to Mo on the tech's phone. Moses was 
that's our coupon. It may say that. This is what we do when we go in. We rack up the price for every event. You have to pay for each individual event. Joe says once he turned on the air, the dust blew all over. Joe says he's humiliated. Ampere is a company run by two old friends, Alexandru Arkire and Moisha Moses Peretz. Alex and Mo is in AM Pure. And purely, they're living the good life. Look, Mo's got himself a new $140,000 Mercedes. You only live once, he exclaims on Facebook. Alex likes posting about his extravagant lifestyle as well. According to their incorporation papers, AM Pure's business address is Mo's home in this gated subdivision in Farmington Hills. So if you want to complain, you can't get in. You won't find a street address on Ampure's website. Unlike the websites for Cardinal Duck Cleaners, Jones, and Nectar, the businesses with great reviews the customers said were called, but were then serviced by Ampure. Let's see if they're right. I have an undercover customer call Nectar Duck Cleaning. The technician, Dennis, comes out. More than four hours late, I might add. And look, he's wearing an Ampure shirt. What company are you with? I'm with Nectar. They're duck cleaners. Yeah. They're technicians, but I mean, I'm with AMPure. Dennis the Tech says Nectar is one of Ampure's other offices and he works out of Southfield. Southfield? I thought Nectar was in uh, Redford. Okay. I don't know where that branch that you called is. I don't know where that branch part is. Where I came from, my branch, where I grabbed my car, Southfield. Southfield? Ampure is supposed to be in Farmington. Who owns the company? Uh, why? Who? Why do you want to know all this stuff? Well, I'd just like to know who I'm doing business with, you I know? Mean, for yeah. the most part, I'm part owner, but I'm not like the owner of the Owner, owner. owner. Dennis spends exactly six minutes looking over the ducks. Says the job will cost eleven hundred dollars. Our customer says he wants to think about it. Dennis says, says there's a forty nine dollar fee for the call, promises to mail a written estimate and receipt, and takes off. By the way, we never did get the receipt or estimate. The van the Nectar slash AM Pure Tech is driving has no company name on it, but it's registered to Mo Parrots. Hey Mo, how you doing? Rob Walchek from Fox 2. Time for me to vent on this duct guy. Nectar Air Duct Cleaning in Redford? I'm not familiar in that business. You're not familiar with it? Yes. Okay, well, are you familiar with AM Pure? Because that's who came out. You can call it the city. You can call it the number up here. Yeah. The owner but, name is Alex, man. Okay, but here's the deal. You're also one of the owners. Because the I business is registered this. at your house. I know, I become to this year, sir. You what? I've just become this year. You just became what yeah. this year? Listen. Owner, ownership. You come what about Jones Duck Cleaning? Are you familiar with that? No, sir. Okay, well, it's another fake company. And guess who comes out? AM Pure. Comes out of what? comes out to do the job, AM Pure. Mo wants to blame everything on his partner, Alex. The, the business is registered at your house. Whatever, it doesn't matter, but it what doesn't What do you mean matter. it doesn't matter? The guy because comes- he's my friend. Okay, so the other thing because is- Because he's my friend, all right, sir. Uh, do you know who Dennis is, the service technician? He's a, he's a technician, yes, Okay, sir. he's driving your van, and he's making the calls- It's, it's under the And company. allegedly it's under the people. Can I close my door? Sure, Thank you can you. close your door. Why don't you roll the window down? Actually, Mo, according to the Secretary of State, the van is registered to you personally at your home slash business address. Hey, Mo, what do you know? You're in the Hall of Shame. Now, Shayla and Steve tell me they filed a small claims lawsuit, and before the case even went to court, they were refunded more than $1,100 from AM Pure. After I confronted Mo, Alex, the other owner of AM Pure, called me. He says they have a 100% customer satisfaction guarantee. He claims Nectar and the other supposed duct cleaning companies subcontract AM Pure to do the jobs. He says he doesn't know anything about those websites or the fake addresses. He told me a guy named Ron. Ryan handles that. He didn't know Ryan's last name or where Ryan was located, but did have a phone number. So I called Ryan. He wouldn't tell me his last name either. 
He promised to call me back with answers, but he never did. Hugh Monica? Rob, I don't think you're ever going to hear from that guy. But you know, there are several reputable, well-known companies in the metro area that will do this kind of work. Why not call them? Well, the, a lot of these people, they, they go online and you put in whatever you live in, wherever, Redford, you live in Highland Park, whatever. They think they're supporting local businesses. Plus, they have these businesses kind of all over. There's a lot of websites out there that to me look pretty suspicious. I would say in just about every town in Metro Detroit, you can Google duck cleaning service and some suspicious company will come up with tons of five star reviews. And it looks like, oh, these guys are local. Oh, look, they're right over here on Beach Daily. We'll run over there if we have any problems in this and that. And then of course you find out it's a fake address and uh, you've been serviced by Ampure and it's expensive. Oh yeah, for sure. And maybe in this case, it's just best to go one of, with one of the well-known companies. Yeah, that's what I'd say. I mean, you know, go with one of those or, or go to the address where the alleged business is supposed to be there. Because I mean, I can tell you one thing, we went to one of these fake addresses on one of these duck cleaning businesses and it was a lover's lane. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it was a lover's lane. All right. So. Eye-opening investigation. Thanks for filling us in, Rob.